Hello and welcome, it's Crafty Carol here from Northern Ireland with another little project. Um, I showed you last time um, some Easter cards I'd made using this beautiful Easter Lily stamp set and dies. It comes as a bundle in the current annual catalogue and all the details for all the products I've used are in the blog. Um, and you can see here, it's got these beautiful images plus these lovely, lovely sentiments and um, a lovely set of dies, which makes, cuts out the things on here, obviously, <laughs> um, which I used last time. But it also has, that's what I'm going to use today, these other dies, which cut out um, pieces to make more lilies. So if you saw me last week, you'll see I made a card um, using lilies and colouring it with um, berry burst and fresh freesia. And I thought I would make a little Easter decoration to go along with it. So this is the decoration I made that we're going to make today. This is how I'm going to show you how to make this. And it's just to sit on a table or sit on a sideboard or sit somewhere and um, perhaps next to the card, which is why I've matched the colours. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it today. I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it a table decoration, I think. Well, who knows what I'll end up calling it. So I've already got quite a few of the bits. And you can see here, these are the leaves. There are two different types of leaf, a sort of longer, thinner one and a, a shorter, fatter one. So I've cut out, I think, about eight leaves. I think there's one tried to escape down the back here. Yes, it did. There we go. So I've cut out four of each leaf. So I've got, I think, eight leaves, not seven. I don't know. Yeah. About seven leaves, something like that. And then I've cut out the pieces for the flower. And there are three pieces, four pieces to make each flower. There's this piece here, which has already got some splatters on it. And we're going to be splattering today, folks. Um, this piece here, which is like a three leaf one. There is a two leaf bit and these fit together like that. And then there is a separate bit that comes around the front here like that. Now, I've played around with this. I think on these, I actually used two pieces on each. On these flowers I've actually used two of those front pieces on each Um, I don't know it's up to you it's up to you what you want to do Um, I just used one in these see which you think is best when we finish the project then we've also got this little die that does the center stamen and on this one I cut it out of some um, old so saffron card and just colored the ends the, the ends of the stamens with them um, a pumpkin pine marker to make that one so that's that particular one Today, I'm going to do slightly differently. So I've already made two flowers. I'll put them off the white and then you won't see it so much. So um, I've already made two. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to use um, two colours. We're going to use um, lemon lolly to, to, to colour the leaves a little bit. And we're also going to use, um, I'm, I'm just used a bronze on the end of the stamens. And then we're going to do some splattering with berry burst just to make it fun and very messy i had to clean this <laughs> clean this board yesterday and it was a right mess so i hope i hope we're not going to be quite so messy today so i'm first going to show you how to make the base so let me put all those bits to one side and for the base i've actually used two the two biggest of the decal circles dies they're beautiful but any large circle die or if you haven't got dies that do it then use a plate or a saucer or something that's around that size which is i think around 14 or 15 centimeters ish yeah about the biggest one's about 15 centimeters which is six inches um, and then you want one just slightly smaller so you could use plates and saucers to draw around and just cut out if you haven't got dies but I like the dies and I like the effect the decalled dies have on the edge because I just quite like that. So we want one big one for the base and then the smaller one, which, as you can see here, I've actually folded in half. Um, how do I know where half is? Well, I measure it. It's actually 13 and a half centimetres, which is now what is it in inches? 13 and a half is three, four, five. It's about five and a quarter inches in diameter. And so I need to fold that in half. Now I could just try folding it. I don't like to do that. It makes a bit of a mess of the card because I've actually used, this is a, a linen card stock. It's not stamping up, um, but it's a very, very thick, strong card so that when I fold it, it'll stay folded and stay in the shape I want. So that's why I've used it. So 13 and a half, you say, well, how can I measure that? Because I haven't got a straight edge. Doesn't matter because we have these vertical lines on our scoreboard. So half of 13 and a half is, seven and three, is six and three quarters. So I want my six and three quarters, which is here. So it's between 
these two lines here. So I want the sort of outer bit of my circle, if I place it up at the top of the scoreboard, I want the outer bit to be between these two lines. Does that make some sense? So six and three quarters is 6.75 centimetres, which is just about, or it's um, two and five eighths inches. And so I want the end of that to be where I want the, where the middle is, which is six and 6.75 centimetres, yeah, or two and five eighths inches. So I put the end of my circle, the edge of my circle at that point, I have it up in the guide for the second point. And then if I then put my crease in there, that is halfway and I will show you by folding it and you'll see it's not exact because it's a decal circle, it's not a, not a whole circle. But when I fold that, I want to use my bone folder because again, I want it to stay well folded. You can see it is just about exactly in the middle. So that's how you work out the middle of a circle. Not that easy, but uh, that's how we've done it. So I want this to be a really good crease because I want it to sit really like it is now. So I'm going to crease it like that because I want it to sit back, but not folded right back. So I want it like that. Then I very simply stick it to the base here. And that is my base made. Very simple. So as I say, use a, a cup or a, you know, a saucer or a plate or something if you haven't got dies. But if you've got the decal circle dies, it makes it a breeze and they are very useful and very lovely dies. So I want this to line up. It's slightly smaller than my outside circle um, because you can't line up the decals exactly. So you don't want it the same size. It just would that way would lie madness trying to line it up. So there is my base all made. How simple is that? So that is my base, I'll put it to one side. We now need to make my other flower. So I do need some paper to do this on because it's going to be, it's going to get messy. So I've already colored the stain and this is just cut out of um, basic white. And I've just colored it with the bronze Stampin' Blend marker just to give me this sort of dark colored stamen. Because as I said, lilies can be any color. You can make them whichever color you want. But I've got some lilies at the moment that my lovely daughter had given me for Mother's Day. And uh, they're still going strong actually. Um, but they are lovely. They're, they've got a very pale yellow in the center, but a few little sort of bright red splotches on them, which look just gorgeous. So I wanted to try and copy that in these. So I'm going to use my dauber again and my lemon lolly ink pad. colour these leaves so I'm not going to worry too much about it I just want to lay some colour up the middle of the leaves but not over the whole, li whole leaf or petal they're not leaves are they? they're petals so I'm just starting the centre and take it up the leaves it's quite inky this pad so I don't want to put too much on there I can come back and add more if I want but I'm just taking it roughly up the centre of the leaves and around the bottom so I'm being very 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 vague with it I'm not trying to do it in any particular pattern make it look like anything in particular I just want to take it a little way up the leaf there how simple is that? So that's coloured my three petals there. Now we're going to add some splotches. And there's various ways to do this. I'm going to use, where's my, I've got my Stampin' Right marker, that probably do. Um, or did I use my, oh, I think I might have used, I can't remember which marker I used now. I think I used this one actually, which is Melon Mambo. Yeah, I think I used this one. So I'm just going to get the brush end out and you know which the brush end is because it's got the thick line on it. The writing end has the thin line. So on my blend, I'm using the thick ends of the brush and I'm just going to flick using, using the top of the brush. If I try and use anything else, it just makes a horrible mess of that thing too. So it doesn't get, so I'm just going to flick it downwards. You can't control where it goes. It just splatters. So there we go. You can see how it's splattering everywhere. But hopefully just on the paper and on my Actually, bits, not on my, just have a bit more on there. I find you get bigger dots if you splat hard. Oh, look, I've splattered it all over me too. <laughs> That's What a surprise. Not to anybody who knows me. I'm just going to wipe the bit of ink that I've got on the, the lid off there. And try and get a little bit off my fingers. I really have splattered my fingers, never mind. What did I say? This is messy crafting, folks. So there you can see I've just splattered here. It hasn't got anywhere... In particular, it's just where it is, so that's fine. I, I'm happy with that. I just wanted a little bit of pattern. So some have got more on others. It, it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to use the edge of my bone folder to put a nice curve in these leaves, really break down those fibres so that it curls over really nicely. 
and I'm going to have them coming up slightly from the centre. That's the shape I want. So same with this one. Curl that over and push down in the centre, bring the leaves up just slightly. You can see the die actually cuts strips through the leaves. It cuts actual holes in the leaf, so you can have them doing all sorts of things and tucking inside one another and goodness knows what. But uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to put a little bit of curl on these and then I can stick them all together, not forgetting my stamen. Bring that there so I don't forget about it. So the way I'm putting these together, I've no idea if there's a right or wrong. There's no instructions. I just do it how I feel. So I actually put glue on the, the leaf with the two petals on it, the leaf, the flower bit with two petals. And then I can put the three petal one on top like that. Just make sure it's stuck down properly. I think I've actually kept the splatter mainly on my paper. I'm quite pleased with that. I've got a little bit on the desk there. Oh, never mind. I'll wipe that off in a bit. I'm going to get it off now before it gets too dry. I found last night I was scrubbing away to get it off. Very inky stuff. There we go. I'll probably find more splatters later. That's what happened last time. Anyway, let's not worry. So that's now stuck down, hopefully. Yeah, not to the paper, please. Then I'm going to just put a bit more glue on there. Like that. Stick my stamen down first. I want that sticking in the middle and then I can add my final petal at the bottom. Now, as I said, on the, the one I did here, I've used two, two petals at the bottom. I've just used one on these. I don't think it really matters. Lilies are not just different colours, they're also different shapes. I looked it up and I, I've actually copied out a sheet and printed out a sheet for my ladies who are coming to class um, to make these tomorrow, and which is last week when you're seeing this video. Very strange when I've got videos and timed them. So then I can just ease these up to make it very three-dimensional. And there we have, you're not seeing my, mm, I've got splatter on that finger. Never mind, I've got dirty fingers, what can I say? But there we have my made lily. So I've got three of those. So now we just need to make up the thing itself. Now, what I've actually used, the edge of the paper I didn't use for the, for the strip, I'm gonna use these strips. I'm just gonna make, just to cut them to some sort of sensible size. I don't know, a couple of centimetres or so. That's perhaps a little bit big. I'm gonna take a little bit off that one. So I want this strip, strip to be a couple of centimetres wide, something like that, half an inch, uh, because these strips as, are going to be the bits that hold out the 3D picture. So if you can see, if I hold this sideways, you can see I've got supports behind each of the flowers just to hold them up. This one obviously stuck to the bottom, but I've, I've put a little sort of V-shaped thing just to hold it up here. because so I want these to stay in position. They are movable. You can squish them around a little bit if you wanted to change where they were. But um, yeah, this one in particular, I think I could squeeze a bit tighter there. But I want it, it's, you only look at this from the front, so I'm not too bothered, but it's easy enough to make little supports. So, you can measure these if you want. I find it's just not worth it really. You want pieces approximately 10 centimetres ish, something like that. So I'm just gonna chop off a bit that's about the right level. I'm gonna fold it in half first, or not quite in half. I don't want it to be exact because I need to fold it over to stick it together. And then I can play around with it and fold it then wherever I want it to be. So I'm gonna make a, a sort of strip first and just stick that together. Find my glue again. So you can make these of any size, but I find this roughly a 10 centimetre strip is about right. So stick that together to make a double strip and then I can just fold it in half then really to the size I want. I can either make it diagonal or make it more square or I'll show you how to do the triangle one in a minute. But I think I probably want it about there so I can just make my squeezes there. I'm not See, I'm not measuring. I'm just forming a little sort of box that I can then use to stick on and stick my flowers on. So for each of these flowers, I'm gonna put the leaves on first behind. What I've done here is stuck a couple of leaves behind each flower and then I've had a couple of extra leaves I've just stuck on the decoration just to sort of fill in gaps. So I'm gonna do the similar thing here. So I'm gonna start by sticking on some leaves. So I'll have them roughly in the middle here, sticking out at the sides. So again, think which way up, because there is a, a right and a wrong way from the die cut where they go. So I'm having this one out this side, I think, here. 
and this one and stick out over here. Just hold that down for a minute and make sure it sticks. Ooh. Being too quick, I need to take time to make sure these stick properly. Then I can adjust. There we go. That's oh, that's sticking out quite a long way. That one. Perhaps I'll move it over a little bit. Perhaps don't want it sticking out quite so far. That's perhaps a bit better. So I'm just going to hold that there, make sure those are stuck down. Reshape my flower because I've squished it by pressing down a bit much. I'll just reshape that. And then I can stick this to the front of my support. I'm just using Tombow because then I can move it around and I can make sure if I stick the flower on the support first, I can make sure that it actually is sticking where I can't see the support behind the flower unless I turn the flower to have a look. So again, I'm going to make sure my flower shape is maintained. There we go. So there is my flower stuck to the support. Now I can stick that onto my base. So I think we'll have, I'll do it in much the same way as that one, I think, or shall I reverse them? I'll have this one this side perhaps. So again, all I need to do is put a little bit of glue on that. You could use tape, you don't have to use Tombow, I just happen to have it here and handy. So we're gonna stick that one on there so it's sticking up there. And I need to hold it for a bit because it's sticking in the air, obviously. So I just need to hold that to make sure it's sticking down. Oh, so we talk amongst ourselves while that sticks. Hopefully that's stuck enough. There we go. So that's my first one on. So I'm going to do the same, the, stick the leaves on these in the same sort of way. So I'm just going to let that dry to stick those down properly. And then I need to think where I'm going to put that one. So I think we'll have that one here. So I need that one to stick out further. So I'm going to cut a strip, Ooh, something like that. Again, fold it so there's a bit to, to fold over. So I'm folding it nearly up to the top there. Honestly, the splatter on my fingers is ridiculous. I do apologise for my very dirty fingers. Let's glue that together. And then we'll make this a longer, thinner triangle so I think we'll fold it about there so you can see I'm not oops make sure that's stuck before I do that there we go just hold it again another little minute so it's totally up to you where you put these but I just these are so easy to just make just a strip of card just scraps of cardstock and just use them and you can have these you know that can sit quite far back or it can sit I'm going to make it sit long ways here I might actually make it a little bit smaller than that. So I can adjust it. I can just bend it in different places. I'm going to make it, um, yeah, I'm going to make it not quite as deep. So we'll have it about there, actually. There. So I've just made it not quite as deep. And this one, I'm going to actually stick to the base. Actually, I'm going to have it like that, I think. I can so this one see how see how this one's shaped itself so I'm just going to stick it roughly here I think and then have my my yeah I am I'm going to have my flower on front so you can play around with these and just put I'm stick that to my base like that there we go and I've got my I can stick my flower on the front there so that's going to hold quite nicely on the base and we will stick the flower to the front. So this time I've put this one on first and then stuck the flower on. It doesn't really matter which way around you do these things. It's going to be a bit harder for me to hold this on so well while it sticks, but just give me a minute to hold that there. I can move that one a little bit so it's further up. There we go. Hopefully that has you stuck down. Yes, you have. So there's two, and then I'm going to stick the third one on here. So to make the front one, I just want to make it a triangle. So this time I'm going to, I'll just use this scrap. It's not very long, but it'll do. So I'm going to fold up the back. So I've got a little back of the triangle, and then I'm going to fold it across. Oops. 
like that and then again just fold down the tip to glue it and that is my triangle sort of triangle close enough to a triangle there we go oh it's formed itself into a uh, like that formed itself into a bit of a rectangle but as i say it's it's not an exact science this it's very much just do it where you think it's going to be about right so let me just hold that down to stick it for a minute so making sure these are glue that take the time and then i can have that's going to stick up like that there's my triangle triangle shape i haven't stuck that very straight it doesn't actually matter and i'm going to stick my flower to the front oh i didn't put my leaves on this one honestly really not organized at all is there still enough sticky to stick my leaves on i think there is i put the glue on but i hadn't stuck actually stuck the leaves on i think that's enough there there we go still tacky enough thank goodness and then I can stick this to here. And I want this fairly near the bottom of my flower because it's going to stick on the base. So I'll stick that to my flower first. Stick, oops, I will let it move. That's not good there. And then I can put some glue on the base of my triangle bit and we can stick it on here. I'm going to use my bone folder actually to, because I can't get my fingers in there. My fingers are just too big. I'll get a little bit of an angle. There we go. And stick that to my base there. Okay. Oh, look, I've got a splatter on my bone folder too. <laughs> splatter everywhere splattering is very messy what can i say and then i've got one extra leaf i thought i had two i've no idea where the other one went i definitely had another leaf oh there it is over there how's it got over there oh. yeah because i did cut eight that's right so for these ones i'm just gonna stick a little bit of glue on it and just have it stuck anywhere i really want doesn't really matter where i stick these they're just to fill in gaps really there's even splatter on the back of that leaf, dear heavens. <laughs> Told you it goes everywhere. And that I'll just stick to the base as well. So it sticks out there. Ooh, stick down. There we go. So there we have it. There is my second flower decoration for Easter. And they match the cards I made last week. So I do hope you um, like making these. <laughs> the splatter is perhaps a little bit excessive on some of those. But hey, what, what can I say? It's nature. Nature does funny things. But there are my two little decorations that would sit on my table and on my sideboard for Easter or you can give them away as presents with a card or whatever it's just a nice way of of using these beautiful die and stamp set this Easter lily set which is just so beautiful um, you can buy it as I say it's a bundle in the current annual catalogue the details are all on my blog so go on the blog you'll see all of the things that I've used if you want to get them yourself and um, you can just use that or just let me know and I can make the order for you um, but I hope you've enjoyed this little video thank you for joining me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out the blog for all the details and measurements for these that is at craftycarolscards.co.uk bye for now